Paul Minx is an expert in dog parasitology and what lurks in dog poo. This one here is uh, the hydatid tapeworm or Echinococcus granulosus. And this here is actually a pin. So this is the pin head and here's the, the rest of the pin. So you can see how microscopic it is. The main risk to people from, as, from a zoonosis point of view is that these guys will be shedding millions of eggs while they're inside the, uh, the body. This particular cyst here is the size of an Australian rules football. Came from a lady in Africa. She was concerned because she'd been pregnant for, uh, I think it was nine years, and couldn't work out why she, she you know, hadn't had a child yet. And my colleagues um, uh, did some x-rays, found there was a cyst there, and removed that whole cyst from a person. So serious, serious risk to people. I mean, how she survived without that bursting and killing her is, you know, amazing, really. Every egg is a worm that can hatch if it goes inside of you. But it's if that egg hatches and the worm migrates to a vital organ and it's the right worm to create a cyst, like the hydatid tapeworm or a Echinococcus granulosus, that can be fatal. Oh, damn, sorry. Call me Dr. Worm. Toxicara is a really interesting one because when people get little puppies, um, the, the, the parasite has a very interesting life cycle and it sits in the colostrum of the female. And on that first few feeds where the colostrum gets put through to the dog, um, or the pup, the, the, the parasite will go straight into the stomach of the, of the pup. And it'll actually sit inside and it's getting a nutrient milk feed, so they grow very quickly. And you often see little puppies that look really, really solid and round in the belly and people go, aren't they cute? Well, often it's because they've got a massive burden of roundworm. In a bunch of 200 people, probably over half have been infected or are infected with a parasite. And most people have no idea that to keep parasite burdens down, you've got to dose your dog every six weeks. Not many people do that. They give their dog a tablet here and there, or most don't, because they don't even understand that worms are a, a threat to them. So these dogs have got burdens of parasites in their intestines, around their anus, on their coat, because they lick and groom, and around their mouth, because they groom their anus and their, their fur. The only thing they'd be thinking about is, oh, they might tread in it, get it on their shoe and, and be a bit smelly for a while. But the, the, the risks are a lot higher than that. Look, dogs will poo. The trick is avoiding the transmission of poo bugs from dog saliva or from soil contaminated with worm eggs. <laughs> 